Hello creatives, welcome to Artist Star. My name is Beth and this is a daily pick a card and birthday reading for June 28th. If you were born today after sunrise, you're two of clubs. If you were born before sunrise, you're yesterday's card, which was the three of clubs. So I'm going to read each card individually and then all together for the collective. Then we're going to talk about that two of clubs energy of the day. That is what we are all in. So there's that possibility of bumping up to the high vibration or we could get visited by the low vibration. So we're going to prepare for that as well. Then we have a special birthday message for you, two of clubs. This is your solar year cards. They are here to help you manifest to the most of your abilities. So let's turn over card number one and see where we are. Wow, we got the nine of hearts. Love this card. Nines are that K2 energy. It's giving energy. The nines love to share. <laughs> Just really kind, generous, joyful energy. It's got the major arcana card of the fool. So you dance and waltz and prance into some ideal that is just this light way of being trusting and secure and that taking a leap of faith is the right thing to do and not getting too all wound up in it right if it doesn't go your way you roll with it and and find the humor in it and again just love to share that energy so the nines are also with that connotation of a past life visitation into the the now the, the today get that off my tongue <laughs> it is uh, really about receiving a piece of the puzzle that you weren't expecting it's quite surprising it's quite a gift it opens up a new way of thinking around something that you just took for granted was the way that it is. You find out that you now can add this knowledge to it and it changes things. So you need to let go of the old way of thinking about it and come into this brand new understanding. And of course, we're talking about emotional satisfaction, those connections. So it's really quite lovely that you get this card here. All right, let's take a look at number two. So we've got the 10 of clubs. This is an ecliptic card. This is life path. So you do want to go and check your charts. Every time I turn over a card, I often forget to say, you know, check your chart. If you don't have one, go in the description box and find the link and takes you to Ernest Wellam's website where you can create your chart. You put in your information and it will come up with all of the specifics to you. All your planets and houses, everything will be in the right place for you. And that way you can make much more sense out of these readings. So the Ten of Clubs is all about putting effort in to reap the rewards. You put it in, you get it back. Match for match. It's a lovely card because of other reasons like you enjoy the work. You're happy in it. It is something that you like doing. It's fulfilling. It is related to you feeling secure and happy and of service and doing what you feel you do best and probably doing it very well. So it's a great card also to get here today. This is looking very promising and very interesting. You're going to want to check 
where um, your K2 is in the chart and where your midheaven, that's the one with the X, where that is in those upper seven um, planetary positions, so the sun through Saturn, and see what, uh, what that lends to this reading for you as well. Let's look at card number three. We've got the seven of diamonds. Well, this is very interesting energy too. Now, it's all about letting something go for something better to come through. They call this one the millionaire card because it takes a lot to see something come through for you. It is like that one in a million chances, but you have that chance today. You got to let something go in order for something to come through. The trick or the, the uh, key really to the sevens is knowing that it's ready. It needs to be cut out. It has been a while. You know it. It's now's the time to deal with it. So you just let it go. You let go of something of the diamond suit, skills, talents, finances. It is something that you have held a value in, but it's broken. It's done. It's the death card in the major arcana. Got to cut it out. Got to let it go. It's done. Had its season, no longer working for you. It's broken is a really good word for it. So be grateful for the experience, for the time that you were allowed to have that value in it, but understand that letting it go opens you up to a much bigger, brighter, shiny, beautiful, making room for something better. Stay out of the victim mode. Don't be crybaby about, you know, having to let something go. Just understand that that's life and make lemonade out of the lemons that you think you have. They're not. You won't get the lemonade without them, right? So there you are. <laughs> that's the seven of diamonds. Thank goodness it's in the upright position because at least you're going to acknowledge it and see it coming. So let's talk about that to a club's day and what this reading for the collective really, really means for us. So we've got that to a club's. That is making connections of the intellectual kind. So we've got the opportunity. We need to take advantage of it. It's not a given. That opportunity will be there for you to take advantage of. So what you're going to do is look to that moon energy that is so with us through this deacon in cancer. It is doubled down on that moon energy. If you're not going to do it today, <laughs> it's going to be unavailable for a little while. You know, <laughs> This is really juicy, thick, abundance of that intuition that you can tap into. That is really yummy. And you've got the emperor energy with the dark twos. That black spades and clubs has the emperor attached, that connotations attached to it. So it's stability. It's knowing. It is listening. It's having everything that you need for getting something done. Patience and tenacity, which was yesterday's cards. You know, it is so interesting how these things fall into place. But that's the emperor. And you've got that, that higher vibration of nobility to really stand tall and do the right thing today. So what would be the shadow attributes of a two of clubs? It would be, you know, having that egotistical delusions of grandeur. That would be that emperor just really not in a good place. So there's that energy out there as well. And you could really be, be tempted to be judgmental. 
that's another thing of the holier than thou attitude that you think it's like your way or the highway you want to you want to exert your power over something and push it to fruition no you know that's the low vibe so we've got cards in the upright position We've got all kinds of joy and satisfaction and really high vibe cards here. So if any of that low vibe comes a calling, you say no, put up that shield and let that bounce off you and stick on once it's came because it's not for you, not today. You're stepping into a higher vibe, higher nobility really taking that initiative to take the opportunity and make the most of it today. This is beautiful. We've got a chance, one in a million, to really have a fabulous upgrade. Go buy a lottery ticket, you know, something like that. Really take a chance on upgrades for your financial skills, talents, invest in you today. It is about your life path and how you put in that that effort and reap the rewards for it in the best way possible. And being lighthearted about it, there's this lightness of being around today that doesn't often come. And it's in that giving attitude. So be sure to give back today. This is the wish card. It's a pretty big wish card. You have it going on. It's something that you can pull from deep within because it's that past life experience that you're going to be able to have this happen. We all have this opportunity on that two of clubs day to make this connection and allow it to just blossom by being lighthearted doing the work that's in front of us with being good natured and allowing something to shift here with our decisions, how we value something around that. So yeah, beautiful day ahead of us. All right. Happy birthday, two of clubs. This is your manifesting cards. Let's see what the divine has in store for you for the year. Distractions. When you are trying to solve a problem, you will often be tested by distractions. Well, if there was a card for the two of clubs, that's what this card would be. Oh my goodness, you, that's what you do. <laughs> Decipher and solve problems. You're the pros and cons list maker if there ever was one. So it's in the distractions. Okay, so it's that focus, that focus that's needed. Tapping into that moon energy that is so there for you, that nobility of being of the masculine energy and moon emperor energy. So good for you. <clears throat> this is you really solving the problem. So every time you feel like you've got a distraction being called off course, <laughs> the phone rings. Ah, right. <laughs> got to answer it. Uh, somebody knocks on the door. You've got to answer it. You have something come through the radio or the TV or some something to some song, some anything that you call a distraction, stubbing your toe, you know, whatever, right? This is what you are tested by. When you are trying to solve a problem, you will often be tested by distractions. So how are you handling those? How are you focusing on how do you get back on in focus there in that is where you're going to find you juicy 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 knowing yourself for it so yeah make those lists of how you know yourself all the better for making those or seeing those choices that you make to 
return to the focus. That is where you're going to find your strength in being able to get to the bottom of things. And when you do, that is where you fill yourself up. That, ink, what do you call it, increments of tiny measures, you putting the chunks back in, <laughs> the chinks is what I meant to say, the chinks back in the wall, right? And making it more solid, you. That is beautiful analogy for a vision for you being, um, what was the, the Hans Christian Andersen, the little boy holding his finger in the dike of water, right? So every time you put one of those chinks back in and make it solid, you are creating that more depth and solid you. Oh, just beautiful. That is really lovely material to draw on. That's you and where you're going to go, your lessons learned around focusing so that you can draw on that self-knowledge and tap it to put into your manifesting. Let's see what you got for the spirit and nature. The five of spades. This is perfect because it is you letting go of what is not working. Every time one of those distractions reveals something about you, you take the opportunity to rework it minimize it, edit, edit, edit. It is you becoming the bare minimal of you. And that is pure gold. This is about remedies and cures around your well-being to minimize what you need and take with you the essentials. Wow, that is really beautiful. And you got for a wish card. I love this one. You're channeling from source this beautiful floating lotus blossom and a leaf that is like a boat. That's what it calls it, wishing boat. I look forward to new challenges. And every time you find that distraction to let go, right? Every time you discover some new version of you, that is what it is. It is throwing a leaf in the water. You can even do a sigle on it. Maybe write a little haiku about the new version of you and let it go because you are becoming a much brighter, cleaner, lighter you. Just beautiful. Well, happy birthday, Two of Clubs. I hope the year goes really well for you and that your birthday is a happy one. And for all of us, carpe diem with kindness and curiosity and enjoy. This is really pretty fun today. All right. Happy creating.